Part 2 of Underwater in Jamaica 2024, we rejoin the tuna that we were swimming with in Part 1. Do you remember what kind of tuna they are? Yes, that's correct. If you can notice, these ones have a bluefin. So they're bluefin tunas. And it's honestly so cool to get to swim with these beautiful creatures. It would be amazing if they were bigger. On this 10-day trip to Jamaica, I was able to find the School of Tuna three times. And each time it was just awesome to watch them pack hunt and go after the food. I don't know if I ever got to see them actually get food and eat, but watching them swim in this pack formation is awesome. I had figured out their patterns and it was almost now like clockwork. And then I had an equipment failure. Yes, my flipper fell apart. Instead of giving up swimming, I switched it to the inside where that broken part was. And it turned out to be a beneficial thing because then I noticed some much cooler animals than I had been seeing. Can you see this thing? It's almost as if it's flying through the water. Unfortunately, with a broken flipper, I can't get close to it. So it darts off and I'm stuck looking at this barracuda. And then I find another one. And I'm able to get a little bit closer to this one. And and just as I'm figuring out my angle, I notice that my swimming is totally changed and, oh, I broke my flipper. And as I'm trying to reach for it, I see a stingray. But I struggle to get home and with this broken flipper, I'm not able to do as much as I want. So I stay close to the shore and manage to eventually get home. Luckily, my uncle Enzo had flippers and he let me borrow his. So I was able to go back out. I then was able to come across this beautiful but poisonous um, lionfish. These fish, the spines contain poison and if you get injected it can cause a lot of damage. Um, but they're an invasive species in Jamaica and the animals don't know that they can eat them. But the humans, they've learned that they can catch them and eat them. It's the only fish that you can actually fish for in the sanctuary. This guy's one of my favorites. I love those colors. And then I found another lionfish. I have not seen many lionfish in this area. And I don't have the tool to catch a lionfish without injuring myself. So I just watched this beautiful creature. And then I found a remore. That's the fish that attaches to the bottom of a shark. It has a suction cup on it and it actually will attach by the fins and it will eat the scraps from when the shark is eating. It's a pretty interesting fish. I've only ever seen two of them in my life. The last one tried to attach itself to me. While following that fish, I happened to look down and I noticed this odd spot. And as I went down, I noticed that the spot wasn't a spot, but it was a stingray. Can you tell the difference between a stingray and an eagle ray? The stingray is more of a circular shape. The spotted ray is much smaller. Here's a pretty tiny barracuda. Ooh, barracuda. Sorry about that. It's what I think about every time I see a bear. And then I find the porcupine fish or puffer fish. And I thought this one was injured because he wasn't moving. But nope, he was just resting. These fish are so cool. Actually, all fish are pretty cool. On one of my last swims, 
I got to see one more Eagle Ray. Beautiful, almost two triangles together with this eight foot long tail just floating or flying through the water. What magnificent creatures. I have this awesome video of me getting up close and being able to actually keep up with one. Check it out if you're interested in the Eagle Ray. They're absolutely gorgeous creatures. I wish I knew more about them and I hope that every time I go to Jamaica that I get to see one. Well, not one, but multiple. But you gotta hope for one and go from there. This is a fish that I hardly ever see and I actually got to see two of them together. I think they're called the cowfish. These are oddly shaped fish. I hope that you enjoyed this adventure underwater in Jamaica. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep enjoying the wildlife.